Hi, George here. And I wanted to show you some new features and updates here in my HTG Photo Coach program, my new teaching program that's designed to answer all those questions that arise while you're watching video training. All that stuff is answered here in my HTG Photo Coach. If you're not familiar with this, you find it right here. I'll put a link for this in the description. And this is a new tool that I've come up with. It's a text-based tool, and it allows you to come in and do a search for whatever you're looking for and get step-by-step -step instructions and lists on how to do that particular process. And it covers everything inside of Photoshop Elements, making it very easy to use along with video training. Watch the video, some questions come up, always happens. Just go over here, type in your question, what it is you're looking for, and get the information right there real fast. And this tool is made up of a couple of basic sections. This is the homepage for this program. And as you can see here, it's going to be set up as one of the perks for people joining as members onto my HTG Photo channel. It's also available without doing the monthly membership. I'll tell you more about that in just a bit. But we have two main sections in here, the PSE Coach and the Step-by-Step -step Guides. Now, one update I've been doing here on the guides as you begin to build these in, this is the last thing I'm doing on this is the guides in here, the last part of this to get finished. And on these guides, these give you step-by-step -step instructions for the different videos that I'm doing right now. I have just my newest videos up here, but I'll be adding in all of my videos, more than 600 videos. We'll eventually have these step-by-step -step guides over here listed alphabetically by the title that you'll find on YouTube. I've had a couple of comments on this, and I've gone ahead and started this already. And people have asked to add a link back to the video. So I've been doing that right down here. These are all PDF guides. You can download it, you can print it, and you can link it back to the YouTube video right here at the bottom. I think that's a great comment that came in. So I'm going ahead and implementing that. And I made some updates on the Photo Coach as well. And that's right over here where it says PSE Coach. We'll bring this up. And before, when you came to this page, you'd see two things. A list over here on the right-hand side, kind of a drop-down list of all the different articles in the Photo Coach. In the left-hand side, you would have something similar to that. Now, I've expanded upon that. I've actually taken things out of those folders, and you'll see this in just a second. But more importantly, right now, we now have two basic areas. Before, this was just about the editor, and I just finished setting up the organizer part of the training, and that's right over here under the organizer. So now you can find out everything about the Photoshop Elements organizer right here. And this, I think, is going to be really useful. So you'll find all of that now over here right-hand side. I'll be building this out more, of course, all the time. I'll always be expanding and working on this tool here and making it better every single month. Let's take a fast look at the editor first on one other change in here. So the first change is there are now two parts of this editor and the organizer. Let's go into the editor. Just click on that big button right there. Here we go. And the next big change, and I think this is a good one, is that before you'd had one section over here and I had folders in there for filters, guided edit, and tools. I've taken that out and opened up all of those folders. So it saves you a step. You don't have to go into a folder and then find this stuff. You can just browse right here on this page and all the sections are right down there. These are all the original folders. And now that I've opened them up, so we have the first 10 articles and the folders are being shown. And then to view all the articles, just click on the link right down here. Under set filters has 121 articles related to filters. Click on that, and that expands that whole section. And you can then go to any one of these different filters in here to get a lot more information about that. Lots of stuff, of course, in the filters section. Now, anywhere inside of the guide, you find this right menu over here where you can come in and search or go directly to a different section very quickly from this drop down list right hand side. Let me show you how that works. I'll go into the correct camera distortion article right here. Here is the article, left-hand side, all the information about how to use this. And then on the right-hand side, you still have access to everything from this drop-down list menu. Now, if you want to add in additional information, things that you found out or discovered, or if you want to ask me questions about a specific topic, like this correct camera distortion, you can do that right down here. I have a comment section right here. Simply post your comments. It'll be visible in here, and I'll put my answer right down there. If you find something which you want to see added into this section, then I'll go ahead and I'll rewrite or add that into the section and you'll find it right up here inside the article, whichever article you're looking at. Let's just back up a little bit here. I'll go back to the PSE coach right here. Look at the organizer real fast. And this is the same basic new layout in here. All the different articles about how to use the organizer and it's broken down into basic sections, kind of general stuff over here, left-hand side, looking at the different menus in here in the middle. And the display is the middle area you're actually looking at your thumbnails. So you can take a look right down through here and look at the different articles that I've written so far. And of course, in any one of these articles, you'll still find that menu right-hand side. So you can then come in and do a quick move over to a different article very easily from using that right-side menu. 
Okay, let's go back here to the PSE coach using this little breadcrumbs toolbar right there. Here's the basic page for this. Now I'll be continuing to add to this and build this out all the time. As I think of things, new things come up. There's one section right here called techniques that I haven't done a whole lot with yet. I'll be adding in a lot of techniques into this section here. This is going to grow a lot as this project moves forward. And one comment I've had here, and I'll begin doing this pretty soon as well, and that's to add links back to YouTube videos at the bottom of these different articles. And I'll begin to do that where it's appropriate. Sometimes it's not appropriate. It doesn't really work in, or I don't have a good video talking just about that particular tool. But where I have videos that work, I will come in and begin to add in right down below here, a link back to a YouTube video which demonstrates that particular tool or technique. So there you go. There's my new updates in here on the photo membership site. And I'll put the link for this for the whole site. If you haven't already picked this up, I'll put the link for this in the description. Right now I'm having kind of a special going on. I have a discounted price without a subscription for this where you can get this for just $29, which is actually less than I normally sell my training for, which is about $10 higher than that, $39. So limited price right now. I don't know how long I'll be keeping this price up. The main idea, the main reason for this site is to have it as a perk for people who join my YouTube channel as members of the channel at $5 a month. I'm still working on the system. I'm making that whole thing work properly. Once I have that all figured out and going, then I may get rid of this price down here. So if you want to get this tool without joining for $5 a month, now is the time to do it. And again, my plan is to remove that as soon as I had the membership site thing all figured out. There's some little questions I had to answer, some technicalities in there to get this thing working properly with the YouTube membership system. Once I have that figured out and I get it implemented, then I'll probably phase out down here for that $29 price. If you want to get it for just the one price, now is the time to do it before I get the membership site all finished over there on YouTube. So if you haven't taken a look at this yet, make sure you take a look at this right here. I'll again, put this link in the description. And I'll see you next time.